x-rays are incredibly useful, but there are times when it's impractical to start off with one as your first diagnostic test. For example, if there are big delays in your department, or if the patient is in too much pain to cooperate with x-ray, or if you're going to spend 5 to 10 years in prison if someone finds out what you've been up to. In these cases, an old technique called osteophany is extremely useful sometimes. Osteophany depends on the fact that certain parts of the skeleton transmit sound very well. One such region is the patella through the femur, through the pelvis, all the way to the pubic symphysis. Just place your stethoscope over the pubic symphysis on the patient and percuss each patella. If there is a disruption in the femur, in the hip joint, or in the pubic rami, the sounds will be different. Uh-oh, his left leg doesn't sound too good. I guess we're going to have to get a new spank boy. You can also test the integrity of the upper extremity by placing the head of the stethoscope over the manubrium and percussing on the olecranons on either side of the body. In this case, sound should be transmitted up through the humerus, through the scapula, down the clavicle, and to the manubrium of the sternum. Well, there you go. The sounds are different, which means that there's some type of disruption, either a fracture or a dislocation, on the affected side of the body. Osteophany is awesome because while it's not very specific, it's very sensitive, it's really fast, it doesn't hurt, and it costs nothing. <laughs>